What I'm about to tell you is gonna set the pace for how quickly and effectively you reach your fitness goals. Hey guys, it's Mark. I teach about the body and fitness for those who are just starting their fitness journey. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys about anatomy and how it can revolutionize your training. Welcome to Crash Course Anatomy, the series where I'll be teaching you about muscles, bones, and joints for the purpose of having more effective workouts. So this series is to get you guys working smarter and harder. Essentially, I want you guys to get the most bang for your buck every time you exercise. In this first episode, I'm gonna be talking broadly about anatomy and how you can use it to optimize your training. And later on, we're gonna go into specific muscles so that you can directly take this information and apply it to your workouts. Okay, just to make sure that we're all on the same page here, I'm gonna define a few terms that we're gonna be referencing throughout the series. Okay, the first one's pretty simple. I think we all know what a muscle is but it's basically a band of fibers that can contract to produce or prevent movement. Next up, we got bone. Again, pretty simple. It's your bones. They provide structure and support for the body and enable mobility. And next we have a joint, which is where two bones connect in a way that usually allows movement. We can begin with the phrase, knowledge is power. I mean, we've all heard it a million times, but like, what does it actually mean in this case? Well, if you think about it, anatomy is the foundation of exercise. Anatomy is our bodies. It's the vehicle in which we move. The more that we know about the parts that make up this vehicle and their functions, the better we can manipulate our exercise choice and body position to optimize our workouts for our specific goals. Think of a mechanic. If he's given all the parts of a car and someone says, hey, build it, but he knows nothing about these parts or how they fit together, He's gonna have a pretty rough time putting together this car. He might not even do it. I don't think he would. Maybe he would, I don't know. But he only has an idea of what a car looks like in his mind, and like, hey, the steering wheel probably goes here, the tires go on this way, but he doesn't have a strong grasp of what actually makes up the car. However, take the same mechanic, but now he knows all these individual parts and how they fit together and why they fit together in a certain way. He's gonna build that car that much faster than the other guy. I think you can see my point here, like you're just more effective at reaching your goal if you know more about it. Knowing anatomy will help you build your mind-muscle connection. Mark, what's a mind-muscle connection? I'm really glad you asked. Your mind-muscle connection is basically your ability to consciously and deliberately produce a muscle contraction. Basically, how good are you at activating a specific muscle? And simply knowing where the muscle is attached to and what its action or function is will allow you to hone your ability to isolate and activate that specific muscle. And why do we need to do this? Because we need to target specific muscles. Duh, come on guys, let's go here. I'm a really big loser. So with big movements like the squat, the bench press, or the deadlift, there are multiple muscle groups involved and multiple joints. And because there's so many muscles and joints involved, it can be harder to isolate and activate a specific muscle within that movement. I'll give you an example. Take the bench press. The bench press involves three different muscle groups at two different joints. It involves the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps at the shoulder and elbow joint. And since we know our muscle functions, we know that changing our grip width could affect how much our chest is used in the bench press, or how the position of our elbows can allow us to bench more weight. And without even manipulating our body position, we can just focus on our mind-muscle connection to get more work out of a specific muscle and therefore get more results out of that muscle. Do you see what I mean? Is it making sense? I don't know if I'm making sense. It makes sense to me, so I hope that it's making sense to you guys. Why am I doing this with my hands? I look like banana fingers or something. Okay, moving on to the next point. Again, why? I don't know why I'm doing this. This accent is, it's terrible, first of all. Knowing your anatomy will give you the benefit of knowing what to feel during an exercise, and also helps you to self-assess how effective your workout was after each session. Let me tell you what I mean. So you're doing bicep curls, right? You're like, oh yeah, nice. Sun's out, gun's out. <laughs> so when you know your anatomy, you'll know, okay, I should be feeling it right about here. That's the first way. The second way is when you link your soreness, however many days later, to the exercises that you did. Okay, so we're doing chin-ups, right? We're, we're doing this. And when we're pulling ourselves up to the bar, we're using our biceps, a little bit of our shoulders, and our back. And let's say we wanted to target our back during the chin-up. But two days later, when we're sore, it's actually our biceps that are sore. So now link this soreness to the chin-up and say, okay, well, why didn't I feel it more on my back? Maybe I should focus on pulling down with my lats more and trying to engage a little less with our arms. It's kind of weird to think about, but when you're doing chin-ups, you can pull more so with like your arms, or you could pull more with your back. 
And there you go, you can retroactively grade how effective you were at activating that muscle. And if we didn't have this ability to target specific muscles, our efforts in reaching our fitness goals would be ineffective and inefficient. I wanna make sure that you guys know that anatomy is literally setting the foundation for your exercise. It is one of the best tools that I personally use in pursuit of my fitness goals because it really is just that effective. And that's it for the first episode of Crash Course Anatomy. I hope it made sense. I basically want to give you guys the knowledge to understand and know why you're doing certain things so that you can feel confident in your exercises and confident in what you're doing. Because I know for sure when I first started working out, I had no idea what to feel, how to turn on specific muscles, it was, I was, it just felt like I was kind of just going through the motions and I don't want you guys to do that. I want you guys to have as much information as possible right from the get go. And don't forget in future episodes, I'm going to be going more in depth with specific muscles like the chest or your glutes or your hamstrings. That way you guys have something a little more actionable, a little more tangible that you can pull from these videos and directly insert into your workouts. And if you're looking for workouts or you want to do the exact workouts that I'm doing, check out the link in my description. It'll take you to my Patreon called Empower Up. Look for Train With Me. That's where I'll be uploading my 15 minute, no equipment, hit workouts. And I'm training there with you guys. Like I'm doing the workout myself. It's a lot of fun. And I give you guys cues and certain things to focus on. That way you guys can get the most out of every exercise. Stick around for the future episodes because we're all getting sexy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. We're getting sexy and strong, but like mostly strong. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If this helped you in any way, let me know in the comments or if you have anything to add to the discussion, please do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.